David Duchovny, and welcome to Movie Phone Unscripted. I'm here with Johan Griffith. Hello. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the TV set that we worked on, mm -hmm. with uh, direct, written and directed by Jake Kasdan. And uh, I guess we're going to interview each other. Yes, which, we are. Which sounds yeah. vaguely obscene, and we're going to try to keep it clean. What is it about Jake that, that inspires us both to want to be that way? Well, I think it was... It was uh, how every movie experience should be, I think, yeah. with, with Jake. He's um, what I would describe an auteur. He, he's <laughs> written it, he, he's directing it, he, the, every frame of the movie's in his head, and, and he's also flexible uh, to, to change the casting, because I'm sure he had desired casting at the beginning, and then yeah. he's m gone with it, and right. uh, hence my involvement in the <laughs> film. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, he, well, he's had experience of, of doing a... a television pilot himself right. so I think just listening to him he's so um, uh, I don't know, he's so wise I mean I look up to him he's he's sort of my age he's been my contemporary but I look yeah. up to him as, as, a, as a father he's so it's, eloquent it's a little infuriating well. sometimes <laughs> yes it how is, talented it he is. is yeah yeah how were you able to relate your television experience to this role David my experience is more from an actor's point of view and as we all know actors are babies and children and are kept out of the yes. real discussions yes, while the, yeah. while the adults fight in the corner yeah. the baby actors are by craft service eating chocolate <laughs> and in their trailers so that was my experience of mm -hmm. television was chocolate and, and the trailers mm -hmm. I, I'm certainly we're all aware just in show business whether it's television film mm -hmm. and even I'm sure plays that it's a collaborative effort yeah. and that yeah. as soon as you get into a situation where there's a hundred people influencing the outcome of a, a work of art mm -hmm. it's going to it, there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen Absolutely. and that Absolutely. that can either be a wonderful thing where mm -hmm. everybody rises to the occasion and it just becomes this thing that's better than everybody collectively or it can be disastrous yeah. when i think back on doing this film i think oh, i had a great time doing it every day um specifically i don't know one memory offhand but do you have like one specific across the board it starts with uh, the script, which was fantastic yeah. and funny, and then it starts with the rehearsal process, which is very rare in this day yeah. and age. Uh, we actually rehearsed for a yeah, week, we did, didn't we? Yeah. which yeah. you know sounds ridiculously short, mm. but actually, to rehearse for a week, I mean, even this is an independent movie with, with a low budget, and you've done big movies with huge yeah, budgets, yeah, and yeah. probably it's a weird experience where you're on set. And you're saying the line for the first time, and they're they're spending eighty million dollars to make this movie. Yes, yes, yeah. It's and a, it's a it's bizarre sort of concept. Yeah. yeah. So I think that rehearsal process of coming in every day, getting to know each other. I mean, it's all about relaxation for me. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way right. anything creative can come out of being right. free and relaxed. And uh, Jake certainly created that atmosphere in in the room with yeah. us when we were sitting down yeah. talking and trying to get into these characters. I remember kind of being sad, you know, realizing <laughs> that I had a day off. Yes, you know? yeah, yeah. And I was trying to come up with, yeah. with reasons to maybe just drop by the set. Yes, yeah, just know? to cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, now we've uh, we've known you as a, a character on television mm -hmm. and, and films, but uh, not only that, but you you are a writer in mm -hmm. your own right and and a director. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy directing yourself? How was that experience? <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I thought I was a little... Uh, I didn't like the way I, uh, I, I was on set as an actor. I mean, I didn't come out of my trail. I, I, a, couple of times I, a couple of times I had to knock on the door to get myself out. And uh, I thought I was... Uh, brilliant. Uh, I, I, thought, I didn't really love my attitude, no. but, oh. you know, I'm so sensitive that I couldn't really say anything to myself about it. But as a result, I harbor brilliant. some resentment towards myself as an actor that I've never really said until this yeah. moment. Will you work I with yourself again? I'm working right now. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to. I don't know if anybody's going to yeah, let yeah, me. Yeah. Yes. What are your favorite TV programs, John? My favorite TV programs. Wow. I must admit, I love uh, a lot of the dramas that are mm -hmm. on uh, Showtime and, mm -hmm. and HBO. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to name any because I have a feeling you, you're not going to be able to name any. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're, well, my, uh, my fiance and I are getting into... Uh, uh, Huff, oh, and, with uh, and Anton Yelchin, yeah. the actor from yeah. my movie. Yes, of course. He's yes, so great, he's wonderful, he's a great wonderful actor. Movie, yeah. yeah, and Weeds also. I'm told Weeds is really good. It's, it's brilliant. My it's wife hysterical. watches it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. But then my guilty pleasures. Oh yeah, I yeah. must admit, and it's ironic as you know the the slut wars as we have it in in our movie. American uh, Idol. 
yeah. American Idol is yeah. a big, big hit yeah. for me. This is good stuff. We're doing that. Yeah, this is showing, <laughs> showing. <laughs> I would bring that. I've never seen Horatio Hornblower, mm. though. I'm interested in the title. Mm. Um, <laughs> what is it? What is it exactly? Well, it's it's um, based on C.S. Forrester's novel, which I don't know. No, he's. Um, is it a great story? Yeah, there, there are about ten mm -hmm. novels, and uh, it's about this young midshipman during the Napoleonic Wars on on a British oh. naval ship. And how he sort of raises. You know, it's such a schoolboy name. I, I was thinking yeah, it was like yeah. a Tom Brown school days, but yeah. it's an action adventure. Yeah, it is an it. action adventure. Yeah. And, and how many of those shows did we you do? We did eight episodes, eight two hour, hour eight episodes. Eight two hour episodes. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're like a mini series, I guess. A lot, of, a lot of long time yeah. work, yeah. a lot of work. A lot of work, fantastic. I mean, as a, as a young actor, you know, not long out of drama college, it was a big breakthrough for me. So. Similarly, for me, you know, people ask about, you know, what, what are my feelings about the X Files, whatever, mm. whatever my feelings are. Uh, as a young act, a, a youngish actor, I got to work uh, 14, 15 hours a day for nine years in a row. Mm. Forget about the nine years. For mm. the first two years, I got to act every day, yeah. and for me, that was drama school. And that yeah, was priceless, yeah. without that, I don't get any better. Yeah. I don't get. Any, I don't get any kind of groove. I don't. Mm. I don't yeah. teach myself, which is in the end what you really do. Yeah, teach yeah. yourself yeah. how to perform and mm. how to act. Mm. And so, for me, television was just the luckiest thing that ever happened to me. I want you to, to maybe answer m this question oh, in Welsh. Uh, <clears throat> I want you to finish this sentence in Welsh. Right. Uh, the three things I love about movies are... Stavell the Tawelloch. Uh, me too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I mean, the, my, my favorite things are... I don't know. I, I love going to the movie theater on my own. I, mm -hmm. I love that experience of uh, just escaping. Um, I, f I find it very hard uh, to judge anything the first time that I've, that I've seen it. Because just I, letting it wash over you. I just l love wa letting it wash over me. I'm one of the best sort of uh, audience members you really? can have if you, if you had a, a, movie, a new movie that you wanted to you know, just see how the, the audience would react right. to it. And I love the, the silence of, of of it as well when it's really silent in the movie theater and dark and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark. Yeah. finish this sentence for me now ask me in Welsh. i want to yeah. it's such a, be it's a beautiful <laughs> language no i want to can i hear With it your, um three and what three faith i mean i'm in your you will film uh which in dully at oh it's interesting that you asked that yeah. uh, <laughs> <coughs> for me i like the stories you know i'm not like a big you know, structural film buff and all that. Um, you know, avant-garde cinema mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. this. Uh, I like stories. I mean, I'm like a you know, I'm like a seven-year-old that way. I That's like a lovely. great, a That's great lovely. story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you to Movie Phone. Yes, thanks for watching and thanks for sending in your questions. And please look for Yon and I in uh, the TV set, written and directed by Jay Kazan at the Tribeca Film Festival, and then in a theater near you at a short time, a date to be determined. Uh, goodbye.